Shift F5 will go to whatever slide you want it to. Unit 276, solving natural log equations. Talking about base E and natural logarithm. So right here we've got our natural logarithm. We're going to use base E to solve it. In other words, we'll write it in exponential form. That's what our base E stands for. All right, so this is basically the same as log base E, if you saw it, um, like log base 2, just like it'd be log, plain log with log uh, base 10 on the calculator. So this is just another one with log base E. So. Okay, so our first step then is to actually use base E on both sides. So what you see here was the original left side of the equation is now the exponent on the left side of the equation with the base E. And the original right side of the equation is now the exponent on the right side with base E. Well, exponential and natural log are inverses, so they cancel. And that leaves you with 3x equals e to the fifth. If you divide both sides by 3, you get your answer for that. And so the e, that's just a number, just like pi, something like that. It's a little bit different. So you take that e, which is second divide. And you can raise it to the power of 5, and then hit divide by 3, and then that'll give you your number. Okay, very good. And then over here with this uh, example, we're first going to have to isolate the natural logarithm, and we'll do that by dividing by 4, so 32 divided by 4 here. And then just like from this step to this step, we used base E. So this entire left side of the equation is now our exponent. The 8 is now our exponent. The base E and the natural logarithm watch cancel out leaves you x plus two and if you're actually to evaluate e to the eighth like mr winter said you would get um, almost three thousand here last step subtract two their step is answer. to get that x by itself or self for solving it so yep okay now we're working backwards now instead of starting with the natural log we're starting with e okay so the first thing that we're going to do here, just like we did before, we took E and made it our base. Now we're doing the inverse. We're just taking the ln of both sides. The natural log is log base E. Those will cancel out. So we do that to both sides. And we end up with x minus 2 on the left. And then the ln, which is right next to the 4 button on your calculator, do ln 12, gives you 12, 2.485. Solve for x by adding 2, and you get 4.485. Get your answer. And, and I know when you all are looking at these, and they look really difficult, uh, but one of the best strategies in math that I can think of is, is trying to relate it to an easier example. So rather than imagining the e to the 2x, I might just imagine an x right here. 4x plus 2 equals 16. Well, what would you do first if you were solving? You subtract, subtract by 2. two. So you got your 16 minus 2 is here. What would you do next if this were just 4x? Uh, you divide by 4. Okay, And then it's something that's a little bit more manageable. You can use your natural logs to cancel out the exponential. And you get 2x on the left. And the natural log of 3.5 is 1.253 when you put in your calculator. Solve for x. Get rid of that 2 by dividing. You get 0.6264. And that is the answer. You know, don't get crazy. Don't worry about if it's a decimal or a fraction. This is our answer. Mm -hmm. All right, and one word problem here. So we got all this information. We got this formula. All right, so we're going to take all the information. You can pause it, read through it. We got our formula, and we're going to substitute what we know into the formula. All right, so right here is a T. We can look in the problem for a, a firing time of 100 seconds. That would be our T. We've also got a, an exhaust velocity that's represented by the variable C. We can plug that in here. And then the rocket has a mass ratio of 25. Here's our variable R. So it would look like that. Those are all substituted in. Now this just basically becomes a calculator problem. As soon as you find the formula, plug in what you got. So you do 100 times negative 0 0.0098, which will give you negative 0.98. You take the ln of 25 over on the right hand side, get 3.219, and then you'll take and multiply that by 2.8, and then add your negative 0.98, and it gives you about 8. And to be able to answer the question, it wants us to use the formula to find if this spacecraft can attain a stable orbit. Um, and it says that it's got to reach 7.7. .7. Did it reach 7.7? 7 .7? 
Yes, so we would say it does reach a 